still think there's an underground tunnel somewhere here. But all this was a um, mining area. And we're not sure what this was. I was talking to the owner about this. He don't know what this is. He didn't even know this was here. Okay, so if you can see all those blocks up there, I'm going to try to get up there. <laughs> Maybe you can see this. I mean, he's going to loop around, but it's no problem. All these rocks were for a wall. And here is part of the wall right in here. I, I want to get the tripod up, guys. But I'm going to take a few photos. Got to watch for snakes. And there is some, like, old piece of metal right over here I'm going to look at. Once I break through this here. Okay, so here's that piece of metal. Let me get my new tripod down. See, wait. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's in there. But check out this knob here. This doesn't look that old. Uh, it has a zero in the center. And it's like, what does that say? That says China right there. I don't know, guys. I'll take a photo. But look at the connection down here. It's just, I don't know what something like that would be for. There are some cloth materials here. The sun is right above. I use my hand as a cover so you can kind of see that wall. Okay, and we'll just pan over here. I gotta take you on hand. I have my other tripod right there. We're gonna come up here a little bit. Oh, what? What is that right there? Huh. Maybe an old cork. This actually looks wood, like like they had wood. Uh, they pressed this onto wood. Look at this grain in here. Isn't that something else? A lot of them have that uh, texture. I'm not sure if I, <laughs> if this is too safe, guys. It's a little bit closer of a look here. There, there is more brick packed with some kind of clay layer. See that clay layer? Hollow spot. Okay, enough. Let's go in. Let, let, let's enter, guys. Okay, this is camera, different look, okay? That's, that's all the dirt up on top. We got uh, bricks. There's the entrance right here. We got big uh, quartz rocks. Look at that. Okay. What's interesting is like three or four layers of brick on the inside. So I'm definitely trying to get some photos on the inside as well. And there's some kind of ledge right in here. Now, the owner and I of this land here, we don't really know what this was used for. 
So if anybody knows, please let us know. It's good documentation. The bricks, uh, we're going to take a look at the bricks much closer. And uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to watch our step in here. It's like people have been drinking and stuff, you know. You can kind of see out the other end there. That's closed in. Somebody closed that in. Because a while back, somebody was actually living in here, sleeping in here, you know. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. So let me grab the other camera, go inside, we'll take a look around. Let's go investigate guys. We are entering. You know, first guys, I, I want to check out some of this brick here. There's no uh, casting marks on here. It's just looks like some heated clay. I guess that's how they did it. There is a mark right there. So there's no markings in here. So I think that's post uh, Civil War era. But over here we do have a marking. So. Now whether somebody brought this stuff in here, somebody brought this in here to make a fire, I don't know. See, here's another marking. Hard to read. Hard to read. Wheat, something, is that, wait, is that a W or a treat? Brand oil. So we don't know. Unless we can see Try to identify a few more uh, bricks. Nope, nothing. There is a shelf in here. Now we think that's concrete, but we're not really 100% sure if that's concrete or if there's bricks underneath there. To me, it looks like dirt, you know? I don't know. See, that's hard. That, that's concrete right there. It's concrete shelf. When that was put in, I have no idea. I have no idea, guys. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm just going to set my bag down, guys, on the shelf itself, okay? Now let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, this looks like an Allen key right there really kind of uh of rusted let's leave that right there guys look at this old pair of glasses guys let me put this on the ledge here there's an old pair of glasses <laughs> now, i don't know if that looks copperish that looks like copper or Let's bring it outside. I don't know, it's hard to tell guys. Okay, so we talked about the ledge. We did find a few items here, but anybody could have brought this stuff in. Um, plastic, people burn anything, you know, they try to burn metal and stuff. But look at what's interesting, guys. Look at this ledge. Let me try to hold this steady. Look at this ledge. You see how you got that brick right there? That's why I'm thinking that this side is the same. It's the same, except somebody has put some concrete on top of it. Like somebody was in here and modified something here. But you kind of see the walls. I'm going to get my flashlight out and show you guys the walls and stuff in here. Wow. This is fully charged, but it's really, uh... Okay, we get the essence. We get the essence of this. Alright, and 
this area looks like it's going to collapse. It's getting kind of spacey, you know. Compared to this area here, it's more close together. The walls are all wet. It's actually a spider web. Look at the size of this block here. Now, whether this is natural or not, um, not really sure, guys. But this does go up. This was a huge fireplace. Kind of see this, the top of it there. And I'm going to get some photos of this all as well. So don't worry about that. I don't have photos. Now as you come here, we have these big hook things that go right into the ceiling. Um, I'm not sure what this was used for. just got a lot of dirt and stuff like you know from people being in here but looks like maybe there was some kind of fireplace here that's what I'm thinking but look at this thick steel here not sure what that is guys at all there's another piece there. There's a couple more pieces down that way as well. More hooks. Not so much on this side. It's just, you know. But this shelf continues all the way to the back. And, and that's why I say you just got to watch out. Uh oh, oh. You got to watch out for snakes and stuff. So right here, you can see the brick wall. Well, I guess people used to sit on this wall here, you know. So this definitely worth digging out. Now, what's what's underneath that cavity there? I have no idea, guys. But that's really super thick steel. There's like something supposed to be underneath that cavity. You see that opening? And then there's another one. Another hook back there with another opening. So that's really interesting. Um, I don't know what's back in there. Somebody was back in there, obviously. I don't see nothing in that little cavity there. But... Maybe looking for the haunted silver. Here's a here's a look looking out, guys, from the top. You know. to get out of here. Okay, guys, that is a big hole right there. Okay, what's interesting here, guys, sorry for the background noise, is you see a lot of bricks stacked in here. 
And right in here, there's layers of brick coming all the way up, all the way up this whole mound. There's more way out there. And we're going to head over there and check out all these bricks over here as well as on top here. So let's head, start heading upward. Here's the big hole I was, I was talking about, guys. You could like see way down in there. Um, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not. But if I had a camera down here looking out that hole, you'd, you'd see me. Now there's a tree growing on top, which is no good. You can see all the brick lines here. See all those brick? Um, yeah, it's hard to see, I know. And there's a cave-in right here, like something was here. There's a little cave-in right in here. Like something was up here. That's really un unusual. Um, I don't know why there'd be a plastic bag up here, guys. I don't see no bones. <laughs> Another little cave-in right here as well. You can see the bricks. Let me see, guys, I'm really trying to get you a nice shot here, maybe a nice photo. Get rid of this bag. A nice little shot right there at a brick wall. Did I see it? That's looking down in. There we go, there we go. See the brick lines down here? Okay. Come around this way a little bit. See all the brick over here. Okay. So basically, the brick comes way, way out to here and it climbs up onto this little mound over here, which we'll go look at right now. Yeah! See that? Wow. That's freaking amazing right there. If this tree wasn't in the way, I'd be able to get you an awesome photo of that. We're out in the boonies here, in the sticks, guys. Okay. Just trying to get over here. Now, guys, I'm entering on top of all the brick and mortar that's underneath the top. Actually standing on the top. Look at the rock foundation up here. I don't know what was down in here. Or maybe they stored something down in there. I have no idea. Or if that was another roof on top of there as well. I don't know. Okay, now what's interesting as we come over this way. I, I shouldn't really be on top of this thing. Is that there's a huge opening right here, guys. But that's a huge opening. There's bricks inside there. Let me try to get down in here a little bit. Show you. It's actually warm air here. Warm air down in that hole. Got brick on top. Brick. Brick is all over the place here. So. Try to get over here. Hope I don't get no ticks on me. This is another interesting uh, part of it that it comes out like this. There is concrete on top of it. Like somebody tried to salvage maybe. I don't know. Some type of brickwork. And it kind of goes all the way down here. So there's stone. Stone on the outside. 
that's filled in with dirt. And you can kind of see that right here. <laughs> that's the other side, guy. That, that's the opening. That's the opening. That's looking through the other side. Again, we got one layer here, we got two layers, three layers. Maybe there's a fourth and fifth under this dirt, I don't know. But you can see there's a foundation. <laughs> What's up guys? Something just knocked my tripod down. I mean there's some wind, but I don't think there's enough whoa enough wind to really knock my tripod down like that. I hope my camera didn't break. Oh shoot. Yeah, it looks like it's safe. There's some markings right there, but if it comes on, we're good to go, guys. Came on. Okay, guys, got my tripod put away. I'm just having some uh, green juice. It's kind of helping me out here, kind of saving me <laughs> this trip. Uh, <laughs> so, there's that hole. We're going to start heading out of here, guys. We're going to head down this way here. See the See those bricks? For the guys that are still with us, we'll go check out these bricks over here, all right? Now, I don't know if these bricks here, if this is a grave or something, or they just threw all the bricks here. I have no idea. Some have markings, some don't. 100K, I believe I see on this brick here. But, but keep in mind, there used to be buildings here, as well as this. So this is a uh, lock. <laughs> Lock Haven, maybe? A company that made this type of brick, but you don't see too much of that here. It's mostly all the other type of uh, brick. Gotta watch the spiders, the ants. Kind of see there's something stuck in there. So. Whoa. Guys, we are getting low on batteries. Something's just sucking my batteries. So, I wanted to show you this brick. You can see there's some kind of pebbles in here. That's how old this goes back. Uh, there's no other markings really on it. It's just... Let's find a way to get through here. Hey guys, I found uh, some civilization. I think my car is right up there. I see some houses up here. I think my car is right up there. Anyway, guys, made it safe in the sound. Made it safe in the sound. A lot of gunshots, climbing hills and down hills. I'm practically wiping out, you know. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Smash that like button. I'm getting out of here.